to Out of the Box Radio with me, your host, Christine Blasdale. Out of the Box Radio is a weekly podcast of audible ear candy dedicated to bringing a fresh perspective on this thing that we call life. And each and every week, we're going to be diving into the topics that matter most with lively conversations on issues such as health, wellness, and transformational healing, all with the goal of creating a better world and becoming a happier human being. I will be your tour guide for this epic adventure, and each and every week we're going to be embarking on a journey with the ultimate goal being transformation to our highest potential. And now, let's get out of the box. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Out of the Box with Christine. I am your host, Christine Blasdale, and I am uh, sitting in studio with this amazing woman. And I'm so happy to have her on Out of the Box with Christine. Uh, Raven Blair Glover, also known as the talk show maven, has been a recipient of the 2016 Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award. She's been an honoree. She is a TV podcast producer and journalist. She is a five-time award-winning talk show host. Uh, Also, she's a media consultant and business strategist and amazing author. She has done so much stuff that I had to have her on because I think I'm busy. You think you're busy. You you have not seen this woman's schedule. Raven Blair Glover, thank you so very much for coming on Out of the Box with Christine. Oh, Christine, I'm so excited to be here. Hello, everyone. Oh, honored to be here, really. You have the, first of all, I, and this is not television, but I have to tell you, the, the listeners, Raven is dressed in this beautiful outfit and you have your, I think this is your signature, mm-hmm. uh, right? She's mm-hmm. wearing this gorgeous <laughs> chapeau or sh- or hat, as you would say. We call them hat wraps because I designed and invented these. So you can carry one hat and 10 or 12 of these wraps and change them out with your outfits. Aren't you clever? Yeah. <laughs> and are those for sale? They will be for sale by the end of the year. Yes, yes. we get them manufactured now. I'm, I, the 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 one of the um, things that really stood out uh, to me uh, about you is that you have this ability, and not only I'm saying that your schedule is very is very very busy, but my goodness, you have tapped into just so much, so many different types of media. Um, everything from radio, podcasts, television, and all of the uh, the the consulting work that you do and the coaching. Um, where do you, first of all, where do you find this energy? Because I want to <laughs> bottle it and sell it. <laughs> it's so funny because everybody asks me that. You know what? I think I still have a lot of little kid in me. I, I just turned proudly sixty eight this Yay. year. Yeah, you know, and I still have the energy of a spring chicken. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah, you know, and it just, I think um, coming from a world of emotional abuse and, and feeling like I couldn't be myself, I found my power behind the mic and it set me free. Mm. I'm free to be me. And it just, I I don't know, it brought new life in me, new e- excitement in me. You were able to open up with the, that throat yeah. chakra and yeah. speak your truth. And that's a very yes. powerful thing as well. Absolutely. It, in addition to being a, a writer, because you get to speak your truth through the written word. But how powerful is it um, and how wonderful it is to be able to speak into a microphone mm-hmm. and to speak to people, if it's five people or if it's 5,000 people. You it speak doesn't to them the same. You speak, you to, speak them to them the same. same. Yeah, because you never know these days with all the the tools and things that they have, all the many, many ways that we can be on the media without a FCC license or with a FCC license either way. But it's so easy breezy now. There's no reason we can't get the message inside of us. You know, Les Brown used to say that the richest place on earth is the graveyard. You know, there's so mm. many people took their ideas and their passion and their dreams and their hopes. They took them, them to the grave. Yeah. 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 And so now we don't have to do that because before, you know, when our parents was coming up and our parents, parents to come up, you know, in order to do something like we're doing now, you know, or to have your own business, you had to sell your home, your car, you know, get a loan and stuff. And now everything is so easy breezy and everything is available to us. We can get on a microphone or like I started my first show on a free conference call line with five friends and family on there. And it went on that same year to win an award, you know, and I was surprised. I'm like, 
I got an award <laughs> with 50 <laughs> listeners or so. Yeah, but you know what? It's not about the numbers. It's about what you're passing on to others, how you're changing others' lives. Like the great Zig Ziglar used to say, if you help enough people get what they want, you'll get what you want. Show your right, show your right. You know that because you're yeah. doing it. Yeah, well, it, it's so true. And, and, you know, in our parents' generation, and just a few years ago, if you – if you wanted to write a book, you could not get a book out unless you went to a large publisher. And mm -hmm. if they even saw you, you would have to sign your rights away. Uh, by the time you got your little check, it was, you know, nothing. And they were only taking, you know, people with, you know, huge uh, followings, right? Yeah, it was yeah, so yeah. hard to get a book done. Now you can self-publish. Um, yeah. You know, if you've got a computer... And even if you don't, you go to the library, you can actually self-publish and get your book out. Also, uh, the idea of of hearing from, in our parents' generation, hearing from women mm -hmm. um, on, on the radio or on television was unheard of. It had to be the white male, uh, you know, news anchor yeah. or someone who passed the um, the test and, and got through to the networks. And there's only, a, there's still very, there's actually a few corporate corporations that own a majority of the media out there. And now, I mean, every, listen, I, I'm excited about it because everybody's starting a podcast. And I think that is fantastic because everybody has a passion or something to share with the world. Mm. And a few years ago, there was, you know, like I said, there was, uh, there was no way that a gay woman, w you know, in her late 50s was going to be able to get a, a, a prominent show um, either on radio or podcast. And I know that especially hearing from women of color mm -hmm. uh, and, and just, and just um, amazing folks and the stories are amazing. The stories yeah. of our lives mm -hmm. are so important to share with others. Yeah. Let's talk about that, the story of our lives and how important that is to share. And if you want to share any of your uh, any of your story, uh, we love to we, I love to know where people come from. I know. I love Isn't that exciting? Where, well, yeah. we're inspired by each other's stories, you yes. know. And it doesn't mean that everybody's got to sleep in a car or everybody's <laughs> got to be broke or you only had one shirt on your back, you know. That may not be your story. Your story might be that, you know, you just rocked it from the time you got out the crib. Hey, you know, yeah. that's all right. So everybody's story is meant to inspire others. And when we inspire others with our story, we collectively change the world, right? Indeed. My story, just a little clip note version of it, is that my very first show was created at the ICU unit of Methodist Hospital in Houston, Texas. My mother was in there for a very serious operation. She ended up being in the ICU, Christine, for three weeks. And my sister, my son, and I, we slept there. We stayed there. And we watched over mom, made sure everything was going to be okay. Because a few years before that, my dad, you know, we weren't there all the time, and there were mistakes made at the hospital. So we weren't about to let that happen to Mother, who was the matriarch of the family. Exactly. No way. So anyway, when Mother slept, I studied, and I Googled, like, um, how to start a podcast and, you know, how do you do a show and how to, you know, create your content. And the reason I did that is because I was sitting in the chapel praying wondering if mom was going to be okay. And everything inside me says she's going to be fine, but she's going to be different. And you're going to need to step up, show up, and mm. grow up. Step up and do something that's going to change you financially so you can help your mom. Because at that time, I was 55 years old making, hmm, I hate to say it, $10 an hour working just, you know, a couple hours a week, making $200 is what I made a week, all right. right? And so I had to step up and change that. And then it was like, um, you know, you got to show up, is, you know, at your age and in the situation your mom's in, you can't drag your feet. You have to get going, put your skates on, buckle up, and show up in a big way so you can make big changes in your life and your mom's life faster rather than slower. And then grow up, that's the one, ouch, you know, because that's the, as Michael <laughs> oh, Jackson used to say, take a good look in the mirror and see who you are, why you are. And see, my family brought us up in good grades, good school, you know, best clothes, suburban neighborhood. There was no reason 
based on the way that I was grow, uh, grew up, that I should be making $10 an hour working mm. 20 hours a week, right? So, you know, I had to grow up and face the responsibility. Why was that? But anyway, to shorten up the story, what happened was I heard a man by the name of Alex Mendoza, uh, my number one mentor, say that the quickest way to become an expert is to interview those that are already an expert, and in ter- return, you would become an expert. Yes. And so I made a list, long and strong, of the people I wanted to interview. I looked at books I had around the house, and I reached out. And when Mother slept, I put a whole show together. Six weeks later, I launched my first show on a conference call line from my kitchen table. Oh, I love that story. Oh, I love that story because I can see every bit of it. And and now, now let's talk about what could have happened, right? Mm. So let's say you find yourself, you're in your uh, mid-50s, um, making 200 bucks a week, maybe, right? Mm-hmm. Um, something happens to your parent where you know you're going to have to um, help not only uh, physically with them, but also financially, financially. with them. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people, Raven, a lot of people would go, oh my gosh, this is too much. Why me? Right? I went that. Or, I, got, or resent, I did that. Yeah. Or resent, or resent the parent mm. in some way, mm-hmm. shape or form. And so what is it within you and what is it within those that are able to go, okay, yeah, I got it. What was it? Uh, step up. Step up, show up, show, and grow up. And grow up. Mm-hmm. What is it within you? Or was that something that you were maybe taught by your parents? No. I, those three things hadn't been put in that way until I was in the, um, you know, in the chapel. Mm. And that was the message that I believe my God put inside of me. That was a voice I heard. Yeah. And so, um, and then right after that, I was on a conference call and heard Alex say, you know, the quickest way to become experts is to interview experts. So, you know, I faced the same things you said. I, I was, like, confused. Why am I thinking about this now? And, you know, uh, my sister and I were getting in fights because she was like, you know, we don't even know if mom's going to make it. And you're talking about a radio show. You're sitting here, you know, on the computers in the ICU unit Googling and putting a show together, you know. So it didn't make sense, but the message was so strong, I feel, I knew that there had to be a reason for it. So I just yeah. stuck with it. I actually took a piece of paper like this, drew a line down the middle, and on one side I put, what do I need to do? On the other side I put, where do I begin? And I brain dumped on both sides and then got busy. Mm-hmm. So the best thing anybody that has something they want to go for and then all these other negative things come up, the best thing any of us can do is to go into action mode. Definitely. Because as long as we sit on it and we start asking people, should I? And you're waiting for permission do to that. succeed. No, <laughs> I see you shaking your head. Don't no, do. yeah, you're my kind of cow. That's the same Don't way ask. that I feel. Yeah. So when I get like that, when I get really scared, you know, I always say, who motivates the motivator? So, you know, there's tapes I listen to. But thank God, this man that you see over here, this yes, this handsome cute? man, mm-hmm. yes, <laughs> yeah, Grammy Award winning mix engineer, my hubby, Kalik Glover, Kaliko Vision. He is my strong support. He reminds me to get off my beep beep and get busy because I'm human. You right. know, I have those ups and downs like everybody else. So you need somebody that will push you out of your comfort zone and again the best way to get pushed out of your comfort zone is get busy and to and 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 yeah the best way to get out of your comfort zone is to get busy and sometimes the the best way to do that is to stretch those little synapses a little Mm -hmm. bit right Mm -hmm. and if it's something i i've i've done this with i've you know i'm not a web master designer technical person but i needed to uh, create my own website a, a few years ago. I needed to do it. And lo and behold, I said, you know what? I'm going to learn it. Yeah. I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to do it. And yeah. I did it. And the same thing with the podcast, making sure that I got, I, w- I had a platform to distribute this program. I had to just kind of build it all up from the, the beginning, you know, yeah. just start it off. Yeah. And if somebody said, well, are you, you know, do you know what you're doing? No. I don't know what I'm doing, but I know the passion I have and I know the gut feeling and those goosebumps. Yeah. When you think of something like for me, when it's when it's supposed to be, I get goosebumps. I get the little hair raising on my arms and it's like go. And that helps motivate me 
more than anything because it's like the goosebump factor, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Now, so so we're we're talking about that your you know your inspiration and your motivation and the energy that comes behind it. But let's talk about all of this amazing work that you're doing. You've got. Um, You've got a Women Power Talk Radio. Yep. Right? It was actually, I got Women Power Talk Radio. That's the show that was created in the hospital. And, and that I got my first award, I think two on those uh, from that one. But we also have the Amazing Women and Men of Power podcast network that's on iTunes and iHeart and all that. We have that. And we have, um, you know, I have several shows. We don't want to go down there, but Careers from the Kitchen Table, Talk Show Maven Tonight. You know, those are some of my personal shows um don't wait to be great but um we also have just launched uh two tv channels one is called not one not one <laughs> tv channel you know if, if you would have just said you know we just launched a tv channel i would be like what on top of everything that you're doing no way and you're like no not one but two <laughs> <laughs> the other one we just launched yesterday, the day before yesterday. But the first one we launched March 23rd of this year, and it's Raven International TV Network. It's on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. Woo. And we just launched Careers from Home quietly yesterday. We haven't even had the official launch. Careers from July. Home. Oh, yeah. you tapped into a really powerful Oh, yeah. Movie. It's already shining like a bright star. <laughs> We're excited so, about so talk that. about careers from home. What is yeah. what does that all entail? Well, careers from home. We are going to feature interviews from like Jack Canfield, Alex Medoji, and Lisa Massage, uh, um, Lisa Sassavis. and also we have some content from Les Brown on there. I love Les uh, Brown. I've got an interview, of course, with Craig on there, and we we got so many greats. So it's going to have thought leaders, top influencers. Some celebrities that are doing businesses going beyond their celebrity, but actually, you know, um, Give turn it back into to, a business. Yeah. But also, I thought it'd be really cool to feature some different types of careers from home. You know, so we'll have people that may be selling clothes or, you know, maybe landscaping. And they'll talk about what they do and they'll pull back the curtains and give you the step by steps and the strategies and formulas Brilliant. that work for them. Brilliant, Raven, because mm-hmm. there are so many people that are either underemployed yeah. or making ten dollars an hour and mm-hmm. their talent lies in some some other area, right? Yeah. And with the technologies we were talking about earlier, with the technology, with YouTube, with Facebook Live, uh Roku, with, with Amazon Instagram, Fire, all this stuff. You yeah. can reach so many people. Yeah. And and people just don't know about it. One one phenomenon I wanted to t- talk to you about real quick. We're gonna get back to the T V No, show. no, no, no. You, you and I are just having a conversation, I know. We're but having we have fun. fun. <laughs> We're free flowing. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a it's like a little rap battle going back back and forth. But but uh, one thing that is uh, amazing is that there's um a, a, there's a group of of women or not only around the country but around the world that I've noticed when I go on when I go on Facebook sometimes there'll be a live there'll be a, a live stream of a woman in her you know in her kitchen in her living room. There's like l- you know laundry behind her and kids kind of running back and forth, and they're doing these live. Like um, they'll have jewelry. They'll have like, you know, they've got like 50 people on the on, you know, in the live chat and they're selling, you know, jewelry. They're selling hair. Yeah. Things, everything. Makeup. And they're writing down the thing and they're they're doing really, really they're well. They're doing really good. Yeah. From their kitchen. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And they're home and they're there with the kids. So yeah. they don't have to worry and go, oh, I got to be at work all day away from my children. It's just amazing with technology what can what can happen. I love it. Everybody's got to love it cuz here's the thing, you know, it's now it's not about color, it's not about age. I mean, sure do we have problems with those things, you know, you just got to control the controllable, you know. And not even focus on that. They've gotten better. Can they get better? Um, better? Yes, they can even get better. That situation. But here's the good news. The things that and the reason people used to say no years ago have changed. And yes. now this software and technology and all these opportunities have opened up. And sometimes it's opened up at a time when a lot of us, Dream Circle, has closed up. Mm-hmm. Well, I just would like to tell your listeners that, you know, it's time to open that Dream Circle back up and take advantage of this technology. Exactly. You can reach people all over the world, which we do, and they can too. And with the power of their voice... They're able to write books, 
You know, I don't know if you know this, Christine, but I teach a lot of my clients how to do their books. And I don't write a word. I speak it. And you can speak for three hours on a free conference.com line with no technology. Exactly. And you will have a 97-page book. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And all you're doing is just talking. All you're doing is talking. Get that bad boy transcribed. Go to Fiverr. Get somebody to do a cover. Go through the transcripts. You can get that book self-published. You know, we do publishing. We're a full media company. I know you have my friend Susie get, get you the little books. We can get you the big books. You know, <laughs> whatever. You yeah, know, yeah. you your dream, like we said starting out, you know, don't be like what Les Brown said. Don't be one of the people that um, leave this earth. And their dream of having a cookbook or their dream of, you know, doing whatever it was does, didn't happen. Mm, exactly. We're the only people that get in our own way. And, and I, well, and I love the, the work that you do because you're, it's, it's all about to, it's, it's about lifting others up, mm-hmm. you know. We're positive programming. You're positive programming. Mm-hmm. And um, just some of your books, and I'm just going to list just like, like a couple of her books. I mean, this you have just been so extre- extremely busy. Um, so you've got the Kitchen Table Radio Home Study Course, mm-hmm. Broadcast Your Passion to Profits. Love that, that my title. very first book, very first book, and it was just a collection Love of me speaking on audio. Mm-hmm. How to turn, this is one of the best titles of a book, <laughs> um, How to Turn Your Telephone into a Cash Cow. I love that. Oh, my God. I'm so glad you brought that up because let's do this. I pick up- Let's give all your <laughs> listeners that send me a email to talkshowmaven at gmail.com. We're going to give them that. Really? That was one of my first courses, and it's the best course because it's going to teach you nine ways to make money with a free conference call line. Hey. I want that too. <laughs> so I'm going to email you too. Okay, so what? So give us the email again. What okay, talkshowmaven, M-A-V-E-N, at gmail.com. Talk show maven at gmail.com. And put free book. Free book. <laughs> on subject on subject line. Now, okay, let's put it like this. Put free audio book. Because yes. it's a audio book. It's online. It's digital. And, um, Which we're is not, perfect because yeah. then you can listen to it. On they your, can listen and your, it's a workbook too. So yeah. how to turn your telephone into a cash cow. One of the best titles I've heard for a book. Um, Maybe I need to revamp that. I, I <laughs> think you should put you. out a new edition. I think I will. <laughs> I, I really do. What, and what's the... Um, What's your what's the tagline on that? What's the subtitle? Oh, back then I didn't know nothing about taglines. It was it was how to turn your telephone to cash cow, cha ching cha ching, something like that. <laughs> cha ching cha ching cha ching ching ching. <laughs> Can I tell you too one of my favorite sounds I have on my phone? Um, I have a I have a few revenue streams, right? Uh-huh. Uh, a few passive re- revenue streams. So. Um, uh, <laughs> I'll be. I was at a meeting the other day, and we we're talking about. I don't know. We we're talking about something real serious. A uh, group of people. Blah 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 blah. And I hear heard the cash register sound come oh. from one of my store. <laughs> come from my Etsy store that does the. It's Boss AF, the 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 clothing line. So it's I've got baseball hats and T-shirts, and it's, it says Boss it. AF, uh-huh. right? You know, you know what it stands for. <laughs> so <laughs> the thing was was that I had sent out a little. I had posted a little thing on Instagram about. Um, I don't know. I think I uh, just was promoting a T-shirt or something like that. And during this meeting, twice, I was sitting there and the cash register sound went off. And it's literally like a cash register sound, you know, ching. And I just got so excited and and. I looked at my phone and everybody looked at me and I said, "I am so sorry, but I am so excited because I just made money." <laughs> Now, I didn't make a lot of money, but I made money. Hey, honey, well, anytime was... you make money, that's a good thing, and right? This it all is, adds up. This is what we want, Raven. This is what we want for so many people. Mm-hmm. I want as many people as possible to be making money Yeah. while they sleep. I want them to be making money while they're taking care of their kids. I want them to be making money while they're doing other things making money. But I... I I, I really want to get across, and, and you're one of the best people for this, that it's not that hard to do, mm. but we've got to just do it. We've yeah. got to just at least reach out and do it. And I, I think one of the, a, a great resource will, will be, of course, you 
um, uh, Raven, with with all of the work that you do, and and people can catch the, the the television shows and your podcast and all of that. How do how do people? Because I want them to to know how to get a hold of you. Um, well, they've got your email address, but how do they see your because you, you got two channels now, mm-hmm. two TV channels, two TV networks. So exciting! <laughs> how do how do they find that? Okay, well, you have to have a Roku, Amazon Fire streaming device. We will be on Apple next month, so let's just focus on Roku and Amazon Fire getting you there now. Okay, so these are devices, streaming devices that plug into your TV mm-hmm. and keep you from paying that high cable bill. Okay, I, I don't like cable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and so you can get those at Walmart's or Targets between twenty and forty dollars. Okay, plug uh-huh. it into your TV. Do a search for Raven International TV. Gotcha. Or careers from home. And I got a feeling your audience is really going to love the careers from home because we're going to show you how to make some money, honey. Where's your mm-hmm. register, girl? Like, it's time to ring it. Cha-ching, cha-ching. cha-ching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had my sound effects. Absolutely. Thing. And they, they will really be able to walk away with ideas and not just how to um, start a business because some people don't want to start a business. Exactly. But they want to transition from you know we call it and this is i'm having a t-shirt and cap and stuff made with this get this that will say i went from the hectic hectic highway to the smooth sailing hallway ask me how nice (laughs) yeah yeah because that's what you know i hated corporate i hated sitting there in traffic and we want to show our viewers and hopefully many of them will be your listeners that you can make more money at home you know why because especially if you have your own business, there's no cap on your pay. Nobody can say that you, at the age of 55 like I was, that here, okay, we're going to pay you $10. Right. And nobody can lay you off. Yeah. The thing about working from home or doing your bi- or career from home is you get to, you know, most of the time wake up when you get tired of sleeping and, you know, eat when you feel like eating. But you not set when your own schedule. You, you set, set your, your own, own schedule. schedule, your own paycheck, yeah. you know, and you can control how you want your life to be because it's about lifestyle. I mean, who ever at the end says, I wish I would work more? That's Mm-mm. not our wish and dream. Well, well, and my my philosophy too is to work smarter, not harder. Yeah, because you, you know, you, and you, and you, and that's challenging those beliefs, those um, deeply held subconscious beliefs, but also conscious beliefs that mm-hmm. in order to be successful, you have to work hard. In order to be successful, you must sacrifice. Yeah, and those we know that that's those are false. Um, um, constructs that that we we think have to happen, and it's definitely not true. Now, you can't just uh, like unicorn it and and say um, like in the secret to say um, I, I I see myself living uh, on the Riviera. I see myself with this amazing relationship. I see myself. You actually have to do something. You got to do it. You have to put it in action. You have to, because otherwise. It's just an idea. It's just a dream. It's just a, something that you want to do. We want to make it real. We, You know, everything is about reality these days. You got the reality shows, but you have the reality of what you want your life to be, what you feel your life should be, what you deserve for your life to be. And, you know, you can write it and do it and have the lifestyle you want, but you just got to... Step out there and go for it. And mm-hmm. so many of us are afraid to do that. Because that's one of those things that's easier saith than to do it. So let's say one of your, some of your listeners right now, Christine, are saying, okay, I hear what you're saying, Christine. I hear what you're saying, Raven. But, you know, but I don't have a job. Okay? So let's talk about this. If you don't have a job, Stop waiting for someone to give you permission to be hired. Mm -hmm. Hire yourself. Make a list, just like I did at the hospital, just like we used to in grade school. Take a piece of paper, draw it down the line in the middle, and put, what are my assets? What do I do effortlessly? And then on the other side, how can I take this and turn it into instant income? Monetize it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hey, out of the boxers. We'll return to the program in just a few seconds, I promise. But I just wanted to tell you about a brand new program that I'm so excited about. It's my very own personal development training course, and it's called Accelerate Your Dreams. If you want to start your own business, write a book, create healthy and happy relationships, or simply lose weight, our goal is to get you there on the fast track to success. You can find out more by visiting AccelerateYourDreams.com. That's AccelerateYourDreams.com. Check it out. I know you're going to dig it. And now back to the program. And I love what you're saying to you is that what is it that I do effortlessly? That's the low hanging fruit uh, yeah. type thing. What is it that's something that, and, and for some people, um, you know, it's so easy. Like f f for me, it's, it's, um, oh my goodness, I, with my eyes closed, I can, I can uh, host a podcast. I can talk to somebody. I can talk. That's, yeah, that's yeah. one of my skill sets. I can talk. For other people, they're, um, they love numbers. Yeah. They, they love figuring things out. I have a, a dear friend of mine who is one of the most talented technical geniuses, um, anything computers, anything cybersecurity, computers, emails, code. Let me tell you, this guy is a superhero in that realm mm. and he loves it. Now me, if I was tasked with that, I'd be like, I would check out right away because it would be just too much for me. And that's not exciting to me. Yeah. But for him, he's absolutely passionate about it. He loves figuring things out and fixing problems. And that's why he's going to soar. And I'm, I'm pushing him to, um, to start his own business and to start to doing consulting because I said, you got this thing. You see this thing in your hand? This little cell phone? <laughs> this little baby is going to make you so much money yeah. just as a consultant. Mm. Just and talking so people right through. About that. Yeah. Cause, and he thought, because he, he, he was going to look for a job at, an, at a big corporation. And I said, you're going to let somebody else tell you when to work, when you can work, hold you, hold you hostage in that respect. I said, that's fine if you want to do that. Or keep the job that you have, but do this. Mm -hmm. Get your website up. Start a consulting company. Start a YouTube channel. I said, if you just did a YouTube channel with solving problems for people, this is what you do to protect your email. This is what you do in case this happens. I said, you will, you will soar on, on YouTube and you can have some extra income. And maybe you may make it so much money, you can quit your job. Hey. And That's the, the light plan. bulb That's the, always the plan. <laughs> the light bulb went off in his head like it was almost like you mean I can do that? Yes. Yeah. You don't need permission to do that. I'm glad you told your friend that. You know, I I'm sure you inspired him because you know, you're right. We all have the phone and that is a tool that can be making us money. That's why I came up with that course years ago, which you guys get talkshowmaven at gmail dot com. Put free audio book. Free audio book. Mm -hmm. And they're going to get how to turn your telephone, telephone into, into a, a cash cow. cow. You'll get a link that you'll be able to opt in, listen <laughs> to those and all that, you know. And so that's what made me come up with that. Because at that time, you know, I was like, yeah, there's other people that are my age. You know, I'll, I'll be honest. I was thinking about people in their 50s and stuff because that's where I, I was at. I was right. 55 years old. And um, and I was like, wow, you know, a lot of people aren't going to want to um, do radio, but they but they may want to make money from home. So that that course and what I teach people is how to do webinars, you know, how to um, write your book using your voice, even if you're not a writer, you know, how to sell, ask for the money, honey. Because mm -hmm. if you don't ASK ask, guess what? You're not going to GT get. So it talks about that. It takes them on the mindset shift because you know, Christine, it always starts with the mindset, right? Completely. We got to flip the mindset. I had to flip it at the hospital. I listened to a Les Brown on audios while I waited there for mom. I uh, read um, Cynthia Kersey's really good book, you guys, called Unstoppable, and it talked about how people people with no arms and no legs were doing these different things or people 60 years old jumping out of a plane. People were living their life and living it full. And uh, it's got all kind nine ways, nine different ways. Uh, you talked about your, your friend being a consultant in that course slash book. It will also talk about starting your coaching program. You know? Brilliant. Now, yeah. this was done quite a while ago, 
but the stuff still is good. You know, look at the meat on it, and I will take your suggestion and redo it and update it. But it's ready to go now. You can make some money. Oh yeah, you can. Mm-hmm. You you should you can relaunch that. And the beautiful thing about being your own publisher, self-publishing, <laughs> is that you can do anything you want with the your creative work. Yeah. You know, if you sign a big contract with a, a large publishing house and you have a, um, you know, a book, uh, you know, the ABCs of consulting, mm-hmm. um, they own that mm-hmm. at that certain point. They own that. And if you wanted to, in five, ten years later, revamp it, you, you think it would be really big in the marketplace, you think a lot of people could benefit from that material, you can't touch that. Yeah. Because that's not yours, even though it's your writing. Yeah. And your baby, you birthed it. Yeah. But it's, somebody else is 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 got the baby at home. Yeah, you want you want to be able to to have full rights to everything so you can control where you want it to go, how you want it to go, and how much you want to get paid. You know, cuz what when I revamp that it will be a much higher price and it'll probably be a, you know, to where we'll do group coaching on the phone live or something like that. Oh, yeah. There's so many different ways to do things. It's exciting, I think, the way times are now. And I hope all of the listeners are getting excited. In fact, come on, Christine, let's do our hands like this and let's say, get excited. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three, go. Get excited! Because <laughs> you have control. You can make some money, honey. And you can take whatever gift that you have inside whatever gift and turn it into a profit. Mm, I wholeheartedly believe in that. And so if folks want to get a hold of this uh, incredible course too, how to turn your telephone into a cash cow, this is a digital download and you can get it only by going to uh, send an email Mm -hmm. to Raven at talkshowmaven at gmail.com that's talkshowmaven at gmail.com and I will also put a um, I'll put your inf- your information in the show description on this as well so people can um, can send that to you and and in, in you know when you eat when you write her and you're gonna say free um, uh, free audio book uh, audio book free audio book mm-hmm. also um, let her know that you heard uh, about this offer from her this generous offer from Raven you heard about it on out of the box with Christine that way she knows how far and wide this program goes oh my god and how many people I can't wait in fact if they do that I'm gonna throw in talk show magic my per- personal book with tips on how to be a talk show strategies how to um uh, be your irresistible talk show host, how to get massive exposure and interview celebrities that you've that you've always dreamt of. They're going to get that free, but they must mention they heard it on your show. Oh, I love how. In you... In fact, here's your copy. Thank you, my darling. I love how your <laughs> mind works. Oh, you are brilliant. And this is for you, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 thank this is conversations behind the mic. This is, uh, this is Raven, the talk show Mavens. Um, this Newest is a book, bestseller. Oh, is this really? Yeah, well, it came out last year. It's the first book ever to feature all talk show hosts on the cover, and guess what? Featuring their best guest interview in the book, and in the oh, back. Oh, I of wish the book, I would have gifts. known you back then, because I've got, I've got. 17 years of interviews with well, people. Well, guess what? We're, we are, you are do doing one? the next one next year, and we'll be putting out something for it. Okay. And you and I are going to talk afterwards. So oh, yeah. We'll we're going to sure talk. We get you we're we're going to sure. talk. Cause, cause, uh, oh, yeah. because And that's the other thing, too. For people who are podcasters and, and radio folk, you know, you've had interviews. If you've got interviews with people over the years, each person that you've interviewed is a chapter in a book. OK, mm-hmm. now with something like this, what's wonderful is that these are actual people who who are interviewers, who are hosts of programs mm-hmm. um, of television shows and uh, and radio shows mm-hmm. who talk about their favorite interviews, who talk yeah. about their the interviews well, they actually that them. featured that interview in there. And there's a link where people can go watch it or hear it. In Brilliant. fact, Khalid Brilliant. did. Um, oh, Herbie Hancock. His <gasps> oh, interview we love there. Herbie. I interviewed Montel Williams. He's in there. 
Um, you know, Craig Doeswell is there in the interview that he did with, oh, I can't think of the uh, the door. What? I can't even think of. Sorry, Craig. <laughs> I know you're listening, but he's in there for sure. And uh, we had someone that worked for Oprah for 12 years. He's in there, and he had interviews of Jody Watley. And so these are some amazing interviews in there. So, and people can get this book. Now, they can go and buy this book, yeah. right, on Amazon, yeah. on, uh, on, on all Amazon, of the... Amazon, and it's Conversations... Conversations behind the mic, mm-hmm. and that's M I C people, just in case. <laughs> Conversations behind the mic, and um, uh, written by Raven, the talk show Raven. Um, this is the first edition; it is out. Um, so definitely go look that up. Conversations behind the mic, featuring fifty talk show influencers and their guests who inspire the world, one interview at a time. And if now, they have Kindle, they can get that for like one ninety nine. Oh my god! And read it on their book. So yeah. And worry. this is a huge volume. I mean, this yes. is this is a hefty. This is like a workout. But um, so if but if people want to get the free book, uh, talk show magic, you all you have to do is again, you're going to get two gifts. Um, this is really nice. So you're going to email talkshowmaven at gmail dot com, and that's M A V E N, y'all. Yes, talkshowmaven M A V E N at gmail dot com. You're going to not only get how to turn your telephone into a cash cow. That's the ebook, but you're also going to get um, a second book, Talk Show Magic. Mm-hmm. But you got to say you heard her on Out of the Box with Christine. It's real easy to do because you're motivated right now. You're already picking up your phone. You're already sending her an email. Just make sure you her- say, hey, uh, I heard you on Out of the Box with Christine, and I want my free stuff. Okay? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. This is really exciting. You're a very generous uh, lady. And well, you know, I, I was thinking if they're going, one of the ways that you can make money, of course, is, as you know, being a talk show host. So that second book, by them simply me- mentioning you and your amazing show, is going to help them start that because we're going to give them simple tips. And there's probably people, I'm sure, listening that already do live streams, that already do shows and interviews. And I really share my secrets on how I get the top people that I interviewed. I mean, Oscar winner, Lou Gossett Jr., yeah. all these people we were able to get, and they didn't know me. And guess what, guys? I interview Oscar winner, Lou Gossett Jr., on free conference call line, no fancy mic or anything. That also <laughs> says something. That also says something very uh, lovely about Lou Gossett Jr., doesn't mm-hmm. it? it? It says, it says something. Um, well, he didn't know I was on no free call. Con- <laughs> well, well, yes, he did. He called, but you know, I'm, I'm, I got away, and you'll read this in the book. It's not what you say, as you know. It's how it's you how you say, say it. it. So you can say, "I got a podcast," or you can say, "I got a show." I'm the I got a show person. Exactly. You know, they'll find out about podcasts and all that later. When you ask for, you know, these top people to be on your show, we've interviewed Chili and different people. You got to come like, you know, like you're at, at you're the big network. Well, you got to yeah. walk that power. You got to speak it that way. Yes. You don't want to say, well, I got this podcast, you know, because some people get podcasts. More and more people are getting it. But if you just say you got a show. Yes. Because you have a show. You do. The other things are just the way you deliver your show, the different formats of the show. But you actually have a show. So speak it up. You know, speak it with the power that it has. And you know this, Christine. The way you throw it out there is the way they will perceive you and what you have. Oh, completely, and and you and and you're always and you're always respectful of people's time because yes, um, short and quick. Yeah, and get to the nitty gritty. Get to the nitty gritty. I ain't got time to hear your story. If, not exactly. the long version for sure. Exactly. <laughs> and if you're asking somebody to to take an hour out of their life, yeah, okay, yeah, <laughs> um, or half an hour out of their life, whatever your your format is, then. Y- you need to make it worth their their while and time. And there's a whole host of, of course, obviously, when you're doing any type of interview, if it's TV, 
radio or podcast there's a whole host of things that you want to do and you do and you want not to do yeah and right? that's in there that the, the to do's and nots i'm glad yeah. you brought that up that is in the book i hear a lot of people with, yeah because preparation they, all that stuff because yeah. they have uh the ability to speak mm-hmm. they uh they, they they have a podcast show and sometimes i'll listen to i'll start to listen to them and i'll just go no <laughs> Here's, this is my one pet peeve for people. Okay, what so if it? you're thinking of, about creating a podcast and today, who isn't? If if you are, please let your guests talk. It's not well, your people. It's are, not your time to shine. You know, <laughs> and, and I and unless you're a huge superstar, mm-hmm. like uh, what's his name, uh, the guy with the crazy hair. Um, brand yes. brand uh, Russell Brand. Oh yeah. yeah okay, absolutely. now Russell Brand can kind of go on a on a thing for yeah. for a while and you're kind of you know it's intrigued. like intrigued mm-hmm. and I want to listen to what he what he's thinking about something but for the most part when you invite a guest it's like you want to find out like right. who they are how yeah. they got to where they are yeah. what are some stories from your what guest what would you do over again you know yeah. different thing and you know just like the questions Christine is asking me and what I always tell my clients especially the ones that are just starting out don't be nervous about the interview Here's what you can do, and this tip is in the book, is ask the question, zip it. Ask the next question, zip it. (laughs) Ask the next question, and then see how you can put some of your intake on the same thing they did. And if they didn't give you enough information, ask them things like this. Could you elaborate or tell me more? Or how did you do that? You know, you and so it's not hard. Just start. I mean, this is what I did when I created my show in the hospital. I just asked the questions and zipped it, and remembered that that is for the guest to shine, not me. Now, say it with saying that, I do have to say this: as you advance, you do want to drip bits and pieces of you in there. Of course. Because you do want to shine. And the reason I say that is because when I interviewed Montel Williams, yeah, first of all, I was in awe. I couldn't believe I was on a conference call line in my PJs with my hair sticking up because <laughs> he couldn't see me. And I'm talking to Montel Williams for a full hour. And this was early on in my career. I want to say 2008, 2009, something like that. And I was so in awe that when I went back to listen to it, I was like, where am I? Am I saying anything? <laughs> he was just talking, you know. I asked the question and zipped it, but I could have said more. I could have dripped a little bit of me because, after all, Christine, this was who? Montel Williams. And people, you know that they were going to be drawn to listening yeah. to Montel. Yeah. Now that you are your own uh, personality, and and I, I can see that people would be tuning in to listen to you to uh, and, and regardless of who the guest is oh well, because that's they nice. well, I no like because her. they're going to know back well, I like you <laughs> <laughs> no because because you're a joy to listen to you're Thank you're you. going to be educated and inspired and motivated wh- whoever you have on because I know you're not going to have somebody some drip on you're no. going to have somebody that's that that is going to give the listeners something good something uh, important but that's the beautiful part about it the other thing that for the other uh, piece of advice and I, and and I I do this for um anybody that I work with who are up and coming podcasters or ra- if they want to do radio mm-hmm. uh, I always say it's okay if you have a list of questions I don't actually if you see I have no questions yeah I just have I just have printed up I have little points and I highlight I love my highlighter pen <laughs> I, have, I have little highlighters because I highlight certain things um, with with Raven that I know that I want to bring out, right? So I, that I can look at it and I go, oh, I, I, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about that. But I have no notes, no questions. Because I've heard people when they do an interview, they'll ask a question. They'll ask question number one. They'll wait for the uh, guest to answer it. And then they go to question number two. And they aren't listening to what the... So I, you could you They're could missing say, it. They're missing a big chunk of what he said. You could have said, so how did you get started in the, yeah. you know, wh- whatever. And they could have said, well, I invented the internet. <laughs> okay. Or, or 
I struck gold and made $10 billion. And then so the 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 the, the, guest, the, uh, the host is like, oh, so, and then where did you go to school? They're, they're not listening. And yeah. you got to listen to what your guest is saying. Oh, my goodness. You are hitting it right on the nail. Honestly, most people miss that the best part that you can do in your business, whether you are a talk show host like us or a consultant or whatever you do, is really be a better listener. Mm, praise be. Yeah. Seriously. Listening is the key to, first of all, you making that money, honey. Because when you're not listening, you're missing a huge clue. And it's just something that we need to do. Let me tell you this story. I think I talk about this in How to Turn Your Telephone to a Cash Cow because it, it really stayed with me for years. I used to work with someone by the name of Barkley Fisher, who ironically now is one of my hosts. Uh, so it's funny how things change. But he used to tell us that, you know, we had to be good listener. And he really trained me well and all of us on our listening skills. And I remember one time um, I worked for Publishers um, Discount Warehouse and people would call in and we take magazine orders. And sometimes people would call in, they'd be like, I got this thing and it said that I won and I'm not buying anything. And this lady was hollering. I mean, my heart shook. She hollered so so much. And I remember what Barkley was saying about listening skills. And I heard this little uh, parrot in the back talking. It was almost repeating everything she was saying. Now, here's the thing. And this is how listening is really important. I heard that. Over all her really loud hollering and yelling, I heard that. And my mom and dad had a bird named Charlie, a parrot named Charlie. And the bird, the the the, um, the parrot used to talk and tell on my mom. So I asked the lady in the middle of her hollering, I said, "Excuse me, is that a parrot in the back?" And she said, "Yeah, that's so and so." You know. And I said, "Oh my goodness, my mom and dad." had a parrot by the name of Charlie, and my dad loved it. My mom hated it, and you know why? She said, why? I said, because my dad would come home, and he would say, Emily went shopping. Emily went shopping over there, over there. <laughs> and it got her to laughing, and long story short, I closed the deal. The lady that screamed and hollered and said wow, she was going to buy the magazine bought the biggest package from listening and hearing that. You flipped the script. I flipped the script. You flipped the script. I flipped it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. It is. It is. It's so important. We, as human beings in general, in this, we do this in relationships. We do this in marriages. We do this, uh, in, not in, 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 of course, in business, but in relating to people in general. What was what's happening is that we are, and we're doing a small amount of listening, in order to speak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We so badly want to express ourselves, in especially in relationships and marriages. Oh, my goodness. Somebody can say something and you don't hear what they're meaning. You're only hearing what you want to hear yeah. or you're waiting till they get done. Let's say, OK, finish what you're saying, because I want to say what's on my mind. Yeah. Which means you're not really listening and feeling them. Mm -hmm. I guess it's mm -hmm. a combination of listening and feeling. Yeah. Well, you know, especially when you're on the air, you know, I always tell my hosts when we're training, you have to remember, this is before we got the TV channels, that people are listening to you on the radio, on their iPhones and stuff. So they, they can't see you. But they can feel they you. They can feel feel you oh yes and so they need to feel your emotion you know there's times when you like we both have been doing uh you know you're my sister from another mister i, I know i don't know that <laughs> yes. you know it's how we both lean in yes. and how we lean out you know yes. and there's things that you can do you know like if you want to get the listeners attention and just like if you were on stage you have to do some of the same things you know like it's time to wake up Ooh, that woke up everybody. That yeah, woke up China. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do that because yeah. they're just going from podcast to podcast to podcast to podcast to podcast. And if yeah. there's something urgent they need to know that's going to change their lives, 
not tomorrow, but starting today. Now, you got to bring them from that relax mode up in their seat so they won't miss it. Mm. Because let's let's face it. I mean, we've been talking about a lot of things, but don't you feel, Christine, that it's time oh, for yeah. people to get out their comfort zone, to stretch, like you said earlier, to finally take that step forward so they can have the breakthrough? Not that you need, and I want the listeners to get this, it's not that you need to make the breakthrough, it's that you deserve mm. to make the breakthrough. And you got to write that down. In fact, Grab your pen. I invite you to do that and write as big as you can. I deserve to have it all because you do. And the world deserves to hear your story Mm. and to be touched by you Mm -hmm. and your talents, Mm -hmm. whatever they may be. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can sing it. Maybe you can write it. Maybe you can speak it. But the world deserves to hear. Or maybe you can dance it. Or maybe you can dance it. (laughs) <laughs> Raven Blair Glover, you have just been such a treat. Can I have you back again? I would love to come back again. I want to. I want to just. And do you know, so we're going to have you on you. my show too. Uh, I, yeah, I, I can feel and that all kind of stuff. So we, we, you know, we're connected now. We are sure. connected. What sign are you? How did you go? Aries, fire oh, and desire. Oh wow, my grandmother uh, was an. What day? What day? April twelfth. <gasps> okay, April nineteenth was my grandma. And uh, and what a what a relationship that I had with this woman. I still do. She's she's with me all the time. That's right. She's strong, your angel now. Watching strong, over you. Strong. Boom. That you just knock down things if they're getting in your way. Boom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be too. I always say, you know, some people they see the door crack. You know, you're always asking for opportunities. Like, how many times have we all asked for opportunities and that door is cracked? The difference is some people will take a peek in it and they'll say, hmm, look interesting. Others will, like me and your grandma, knock that sucker down. Yeah. Because I'm not waiting for people to give me permission to succeed. I did that up until I was 55 years old. No more. No more. And because when I was 13 years old, I used to sneak to the neighborhood radio station. When I was 15 years old, I was a talk show host at the um, hospital. Because they had a jazz show and they wanted to inspire at the Veterans Hospital, as a matter of fact. And so that was in my line of direction all along. Yeah. But it didn't happen until I was 55 years old at a hospital waiting for my mom to get well. And you know why? Because my why was never big enough. So I want to say to your, your listeners, if you're not growing, if you're not stretching, if you have not made the breakthrough that you deserve, check your why. Mm. Check your why. And sometimes our why is not strong enough. We have to borrow other people's why to get us moving. And that's what happened. And I am I am going to tell every single body I know to check your check out check your why check, girl. Your, check why. your why <laughs> Raven the talk show Maven has been my guest this hour and if you want to find out more from remember she's offering all of this amazingly cool stuff for you she is getting uh, the book uh, two well if you mentioned you heard her on Out of the Box with Christine you're going to get two books how to turn yourself your how to turn your telephone into a cash cow and talk show magic you can email her at talk show Maven at gmail.com and do you have a website that you wanted a one website that you want to send people to uh yes let's send them to amazing women and men of power.com okay amazing okay. women and men of power.com yeah and they can click on the flash and on air banner and it'll show the different hosts we have and links to everybody's podcast including mine brilliant brilliant and I'm gonna I make sure that I have uh, Raven Blair Glover back on this program I want to thank you wonderful listeners as always for tuning in we'll have all of the links and all the information attached to the show please remember too that you can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes iHeartRadio Spotify Pocket Cast uh, Podbean also really important you could subscribe to this channel on YouTube which is so easy for you to share it it's easy for you to share the YouTube video in your emails on social media And it's just a a great, great way to get this information out. You know somebody that could be motivated and inspired by what you heard today on this program. So I encourage you to be active and share this program. Also want to make an announcement that the Accelerate Your Dreams project is is launched. And you can...
can find out more by going to accelerateyourdreams.com. These are workshops that we have made extremely affordable for as many people as possible so that they can get training and courses in everything from health, wealth to love and everything in between. So you can go to accelerateyourdreams.com for more information. If you want more information on this podcast, just go to outoftheboxwithchristine.com. All right, until next time, have a beautiful day and remember to always think outside of that damn box. Bye for now.